So the uptown area of Cincinnati is one of the most fun places to be. It's a super convenient place for students, great place to live for hospital employees and medical students. There's tons of places to eat and drink. You're about a 10 or 15 minute drive to anywhere in the inner city. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a full tour of what it's like living and hanging out in uptown Cincinnati and much more. Let's get into it right now. What's up, it's Victor Pham, your Cincinnati Realtor. If this is your first time to the channel, here we talk about all things Cincinnati. We talk about all things related to real estate in Cincinnati. So if you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, play, and chill in Cincinnati and the Cincinnati suburbs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way, you don't miss anything new. I'm helping people all the time buy and sell real estate in Cincinnati and the suburbs around Cincinnati. So if you're thinking about making a move to Cincy or maybe buying or selling somewhere in or around the area, feel free to hit me up. I got your back. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic. So if you're checking out the uptown area, you're essentially going to be in three neighborhoods, which would be Clifton, Coryville, and a little bit of Mount Auburn. You're literally like five minutes from downtown. You're maybe 10 minutes from the Oakley Hyde Park area, a few minutes from Walnut Hills, and probably 15 minutes if you're trying to get to the west side. So for convenience, uptown is really in the heart of it all. If you're hanging out anywhere in the uptown area for fun, you're most likely gonna be on one of four streets, which are Calhoun Street, West McMillan Street, Short Vine Street, or Ludlow Avenue. These are the most jumping streets in Uptown where all the action is. If you're there for fun, food and drinks, definitely check out one of those four streets. Once you're on Short Vine, you'll run into an array of different bars and restaurants like this dive bar right here, which is really popular on weekends, especially with the UC students. If you like live music, definitely check out Bogarts right here. It's a historical venue. It's been there for many, many years. You get some big name artists that come in there and perform from time to time. Need a tattoo? Check out Hot Rod Charlie's. Right across the street from that is Mio's Pizza. One of the best pizzerias in the city with the handmade crust. Check out Mount Olive Market, an international market where you can get some fresh goat, lamb, and chicken meat. And next to that is Danny Fresh the Barber, one of the most popular barber shops in the city. Hangover Easy's right here is a great place for breakfast stop. Stop in there and get you some mimosas. You can mix a little alcohol with your breakfast. Uptown Rental Properties is one of the biggest property management companies in the city, especially for the student housing up here in Clifton. And new to the area, El Vaquero, a Mexican restaurant. If you're into authentic Jamaican food, I highly recommend Island Fridays, one of the best Jamaican joints in the city. Top Cats is a bar and turns into a nightclub uh, when the weather is nice. It gets really popular for those UC students who like to come over here and party. If you got a sweet tooth, you can check out the sweet place, get your sugar fix. Or if you're more into healthy eating, check out the Conscious Kitchen. And an absolute must visit if you're into Philly cheesesteaks is Cincy 
steak and lemonade have some of the most famous cheese steaks in the city also some of the best lemonade in the city as well you can get all kinds of flavors of lemonade i highly recommend this place Now, if you're looking to buy or rent in the uptown area, I'll tell you right now, it is one of the more expensive areas in the city due mainly to its location and being close to the college and all those hospitals. So prices are high. Average home price is well into the 300,000s. If you're renting a one bedroom right now in the uptown area, you're probably looking in the $900 range. And it's been increasing big time with home values over the last few years. And like I usually do, I like to show you a quick glimpse of what's selling in the area right now. So for Clifton, the main area in Uptown right now in real time for sold homes in the last 60 days. And we're just looking for finished residential homes, no distressed homes that need a whole lot of rehab and stuff like that. Cheapest home to sell was about 130,000. That was a three bedroom, one bathroom home built in 1914. And that was about 1700 square feet. The most expensive home to sell was about 1.5 million. And that was built in 1994 at over 5,000 square feet with five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. So obviously there's a pretty big range of home prices depending on the home and how good the quality of the finishes are inside of that home. But for the most part, you're gonna be in the 200s or 300s for a moderate size home with good finishes in that Clifton area. If you're over on Calhoun Street, you'll see that it is directly connected to University of Cincinnati campus. You can literally walk from Calhoun Street over to the campus in just like two minutes. So this is really popular for UC students going back and forth from uh, the college over there to Calhoun Street, hanging out, drinking and eating, stuff like that. It's also really popular for people who are attending UC games, whether it be football, basketball, soccer, baseball, whatever they got going on over there, gets pretty flooded with people and a uh, pretty convenient place for them to go over there, jump on Calhoun and grab a bite to eat. They got a bunch of stuff over here on the little square off of Calhoun as well. You can get your coffee fix at Starbucks. You can get your ice cream fix at Keystone or get some chicken from Cane's. Another good one if you're into Indian food right here is Krishna Indian. I'm gonna tell you this, when you go inside, it, it looks like a little hole in the wall, but honestly, it's some of the best Indian food that you will get in the city. It would really surprise you. This large castle building back here is Hughes High School, historical public high school that's been here in the Clifton District for a very long time. And right there is UC Law, one of the most accredited law schools in the country. When you get over on West McMillan, you got a ton of more options for food and dining and drinking as well. You just got an unlimited amount of options here, really, guys.
if you need a suit or a tuxedo for a special event probably want to check out mr tuxedos up here they got some great deals on tuxedo rentals like i said one of the big things that makes uptown a very high traffic area are the hospitals up here some of the most renowned hospitals in the country you got uc medical you got the veterans hospital down there by the zoo and then you have children's hospital up off bernard avenue one of the most renowned hospitals for children in the country You can check out Mount Storm Park if you're in the Uptown District. They have a great exercise path and some great views up here. And there's also Burnett Woods Park. You can check out the lake and do some fishing. Just make sure if you are fishing, you follow the rules. You don't want to get fined. And yes, at Burnett Woods Park, this is an actual slide. This is a cement slide. I remember sliding down this slide many times when I was a young boy. Best way to do it is just get a piece of cardboard and sit on the cardboard and slide down. You'll just go flying. Like I said, if you hit Ludlow Avenue, you can find a lot more things to do as well. More bars, more eating, and a few venues for some live music. As far as crime and safety, I mean, it's in the inner city, it gets crime, so it's definitely not the most dangerous place in the city, and I would not put it on my top list as one of the most dangerous places either, but it's definitely city life, so expect what you'll get in a regular city. Nice.com gives Clifton a C plus for crime and safety, and they also call it the number five best place to raise a family in Cincy, so not too shabby, I suppose. So I hope that helps you learn a little bit more about what it's like living in uptown Cincinnati. I think it's a great place, one of my favorite hangout spots in the city. If you're thinking about maybe making a move to Cincinnati and buying a house or selling a home here or anywhere in the suburbs around Cincinnati, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you with that. If you're interested in learning more about some great Cincinnati neighborhoods, check out these videos right here. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, when it comes to houses in Cincinnati, you can always call Vic.